of two masks, but one remains. The time is 11.24, Wednesday the 21st of October 2020. This will be the 11.27 LNER Azuma to London King's Cross. And there's probably at least two more after that. Because the Angostine freight train wants to run through like several minutes early. We've then got some empty stock from Merchant Park in the Bootham area, so it'll be in about five minutes. They'll probably be bringing in the last uh, back in the Azumas that have been sat around uh, Merchant Park sidings near Darlington North Road. Also, this one was the first LNER Azuma to run in service this time last year. Except this unit's completely different and the one that ran this service is the next one arriving. Not the Merchant, the next one from London. Run started last year between Lincoln Central and London King's Cross from 11.18 hours on the 21st of October 2019. Oh, mate, that was interviewed by BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Also, on another note, Northern node joins LNAR, ScotRail and GBRF on real-time trains. So you can node track Northern services properly through your area if they run there. Next here we just need EMR and we've got a complete set. I think they'll be holding the Angostine back until time. We can see from plot from three that 153s are back on the Lincoln Doncasters again for a little while. Various are between them and 156s. Here we are. Leaving early at 11.26. They're operating, operating compulsory reservations for the LNER and cross country. You cannot just turn up and go, but you can here. Next train's in about two minutes' time, ending 11.27. Time is 11.28, this will be the 11.30 Northern train service to Sheffield. Going to the real time trains update and Northern is 195.019. I suppose it does stop Reese from Plymouth asking about trains through Middlesbrough. That was a right burden on operators throughout the last couple of years. Reese Carter his name was. Asking every operator under the sun what was running service A, B and C from Middlesbrough. As if Eurostar's going to know. But they were asked. At least it puts an end to that though. So LNAR joins ScotRail, GBRF. No, so Northern joins LNAR, GBRF and ScotRail. Who's going to be next? Could a Bellio dump the rest of the lot off in one go? East Midlands Railway, West Midlands trains, and Greater Anglia, maybe? Would it be too much to do one big swoop? But it depends which one's willing to let their information out. Right after this, there's another Azuma arriving in from the Darlington North Road. Let's get this cafe and then we can fill platform four back up again. I'll freeze them off for five and let that freight train through that should pass in about four minutes time. It's not yet got the road. But we've got him leaving and we've got two trains waiting to come through. And we've got a train on 5B which leaves in five minutes. Should we want to find 019? Although it's destination on. 
Yep. Come on, 5019 Sheffield. Alright, what's next? There's several more that could come through, but what are we going to do? Well, we're not going up anyway. Okay, so next is the 1133 service from Merchant Park sidings. Just up from Darlington North Road, set up over two hours ago. Then it'll be in platform four, spin around and leave in 20 minutes. After that, with the freight train for Angerstein. At that point, we're running late. Right, I think he's arriving into platform four now. We'll also wait for the 1135 East Midlands Railway Service to Newark Northgate. As he just said, he's ready to leave, and he didn't leave for four minutes, but with another train behind the approaching one, we're going to be stopping down for it anyway. Oh, so what's this one then? Which would, have been, which would have been in storage for a little while. I know it's a five car because the overlap's not set on platform four. Number 205. Number 205 from Merchant Park sidings near Darlington at North Road. Yeah, Brayford Stone, so we've got another two anyway. So in orbit of operation, 11.35 local to Newark and 11.36 GBRF up DB cargo from Belmont to Angerstone. And if we're only lucky, that'll put into the next DMR after this one. At 11.40 in seven minutes time. The next train off of five. And so bring the freight train through with them. Then we've got a route retention locomotive at Thorpe on the hill that's going to go around terming and then come back later on. But it's not touching the light railway because there's no staff available. Ding bong. That's the last announcement for the train on 5B, and then the next on 3A. Yeah. Yep, we have got the freight train with. You just got the road set through now. Bars have been going for just over six minutes. And it can be a lot longer, don't try an afternoon at around 1 pm. And you don't try here when the Christmas market's on, it gets even worse. 27 minute closure last December. Never seen the supposed 45 that keeps being flagged up though. I still think it's complete bollocks. Now there's one approaching from behind me. You're probably not going to see the EMR. So you should be leaving the platform any moment now. Let's take me your dog. I can't see where we're on. I know it is raining. Right, the EMR's leaving. Freight train's just passing over Brayford. I won't know the EMR because they haven't put the numbers up yet.
Got the Frankenstein Wolf 66168. one of all greater Anglias. Four five six nine two two. If you saw it, Elu, the Great Anglia. Four five six nine two two to New York. That's for the last train for about three minutes. Okay, this could be as long as the last closure. Time is 11.39, this will be the 11.40 East Midlands Railway service to Leicester. Well, they just chimed about. I've stood a ding-dong in the platform. Right, the route retention of 67 ain't run, and it hasn't run since it's been, been rebooked in again. Freight train approaching, light movement approaching, local train here. Ready to leave, well, fast to Nottingham, fast to, fast to Newark, fast to Nottingham. And then the IEP off platform four. This is going to get busy. Vehicle. The pedestrianised this vehicle's still coming down. Pedestrianised Braford, vehicles are still going down. They went back up and again. But the road through Braford's closed until next year. Bing bong. They're just announcing the next to depart 3A, which is due to leave now and is leaving now. Someone's fucking about in the control room again. Right, well this won't be the only train, I can almost promise you that. 158783. If it turns out that is the only train, you can count yourself bloody lucky because there's a lot more in the area. There's at least three more in the area that I see, but they could come in the next five minutes, so you might get time to go through, otherwise, you might not. Lucky. We'll be back down again within three minutes. Ending 11 40. By a we shouldn't use paper bags. Time's 11.42. This could get extremely lengthy. Firstly, the 11.49 network rail service from Derby RTC to Derby RTC, route retention through Immingham, Grimsby, Immingham, Grimsby and back. The 11.52 DB cargo service from Wakefield to Felixstowe. He's quite basically right behind him. And if that runs early, that never waits. That's always sent straight through.
There's at least two in this closure, probably three, if that train wants to leave platform four anytime soon. The first Delight locomotive. Of sort, I've no bloody idea. Right, it's passing past the protection signal, so he's come bloody quickly. Oh, it's a bloody 67, isn't it? We'll be staying for the freight train, mostly guaranteed. Unless we're lucky. Which we never are, are you? Remember the 26 and a half minute closure last December? It was eight minutes between one of the trains. 67023, which I think is Stella. To Derby via Immingham, Grimsby, Immingham and Grimsby. Yeah, we're staying down. Piss off. So open the second side of the staircase now as the building's been moderately complete for student accommodation. Then they'll complain also there's too many bloody trains. We wanted more, we got more a year ago, we don't like it. And eventually the walkway down the side there of Wigford will be open so you can easily connect between here and Brayford without having to walk by the car park or rescue at St Mark's. As we know, Brayford has been pedestrianised for at least 12 months, which will most likely be permanent, to encourage cycling through the area. And time I ever see cyclists is when they're dodging the bloody barriers. And that's either Deliveroo or University. And this is the train that caused the heavy hold up in December when we were waiting eight minutes for it to come through in an already lengthy closure. That made that one 26 and a half minutes, which is the longest date to record it here by anybody. Still never seen the 45 minutes. That 26 and a half is the worst. The 45 is still probably exaggerated lies, because I've never seen it. What are we ding-donging, love? Oh, 11.54 Doncaster. Right. So with the... Where are we looking? The 11.52 freight train, which is coming shortly. We've also got the 11.50 service to Peterborough via Grantham. Run by GBRF for London Northeastern Railway. Who's leaving now? I think. There's something moving, but I don't know bloody what. Oh, flipping all the freight trains coming and all. Is the thing all four actually moving? Be a nasty surprise if it is. Here's a Maritime. time. Wait, they tell me it's the DB66.
Felix Stowe. What's up, Brayford? Stay down to me. So the question remains is it another one or another two? If you say that an extra five minutes, it'll be another two. What's that? Four. Well, that was five. This Zuma off top from four takes another two minutes to move, and then we will be staying down for another train or another two. Then the next arriving from London's just appeared at Highcombe. This should be under 205 again. Peterborough. Right, is that all? If it ain't, we know the next train will be in four minutes. Well, the next train will be in four minutes anyway. Time's 11.53, this will be the 11.54 East Midlands Railway service to Doncaster. And the 1200 hours LNER Azuma from London King's Cross. Which will bear under 203, the unit that started the services this time last year. Well, I say this time last year, I mean, for half an hour ago. Because it left her a couple of minutes late. Left at 11.18 did the first London this time last row and it was moved to 27 because it didn't really fit in the timetable and it don't fit in the timetable now so what they're going to throw it to next do the order is when one arrive when one leaves here the next from London arrives in maybe so then it would leave at 11 49 maybe you still be far enough out of this to not cause a problem Okay, what's these 153s and they'll probably end up Barton's on, on Barton's soon or we'll just come off Barton's. Throw any guesses, 153, 383 and 385. Closest 383 and 381. And there's one more. Switch to train two. Boris says not already in two or three talks, but the city leaders say not. Well, don't be like Manchester. You lost a lot of money begging and begging for more you started out wanting 60 ended up with 22 
Christmas was on a blob and three in it. I forget that. But you score in a four. Should be under two zero three. Coming in close to play. Do three from London Kings Cross. Uh, Brave up. Mossy's off the junction, that'll release the barriers. Thanks for joining, we'll see you next time. Any brightness issues due to rain?